already video. Holy Spirit, speak through, Gary. One minute. Speak through, George and myself. Holy Spirit, have your way today. You know who's listening and what they need to hear. We just want to be a vessel you can use. To build the kingdom of God today is our prayer in Jesus' name. Thank you for this opportunity. You need those uh, Kleenex? Yeah. Can you reach them? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Here. Thirty. Fifteen. I'm turning my mic off. Welcome to Pray 16. For the next hour, you are invited to stand with other believers as we pray and release the power of God into the lives of his people. Remember, if you're not praying, church, you're just playing, church. Coming to the studio in five, four, three, two, one. Hello, here we are, Pray 16. It's Friday morning. And no, I'm not Gary Wallace, but I am Donette Douglas. I am the station manager here at WTJR. I'm filling in for Gary today. We're going to pray for him uh, in just a little bit. That's what this program is about. You call in your prayer request, and we will pray for those prayers over the uh, air. And call in those praise reports. We love to have those praise reports. It's very important that we stand in faith. And one way we stand in faith is on God's Word and in prayer, because when we pray, we are to believe. And when we believe, we receive. That's what God's Word says, okay? And uh, so we are to pray one for another, to love one another, to encourage one another. And that's what this program is about, Pray 16. Thank you, thank you. I want to thank uh, George. That's who I'm saying thank you to <laughs> last minute. Uh, George is usually on the other side of the camera and uh, running all three. We have three cameras. And he sits behind one of them and once in a while because he's wearing a headphone. And today Jim Wilson is in the uh, production room. He's the uh, producer, director today. And he will talk and every once in a while he needs a camera adjusted. So George will get up and go to another camera. So we keep him busy that way sometimes. But George, <laughs> as you know, also usually has a little three minute. Sometimes it gets a little longer. <laughs> Yeah, it depends. But Sometimes. Anyway, <laughs> he uh, does a little segment and a uh, word of encouraging, first of all, to call in, how important that is, and then just a little nugget from God's Word that a lot of times will, um, yeah, ouch, it hurts, <laughs> but the Word of God will hurt Challenge, sometimes. encourage, it's, exhort. That's right. There you go. There you go. So, George, I know you believe in prayer. Absolutely. And I know you have a testimony. God healed you many years ago from heart issues, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Two ways, physically and, and spiritually. Yeah, yeah. I got, got a new heart on uh, March 8th, 1996, when I invited Jesus Christ to be Lord and Savior of my life. Amen. Uh, actually, I invited him to be Savior of my life. I didn't get around to the Lord part mm -hmm. uh, until around 2008. And, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't know that there's a difference, uh, believe me, folks, there really is. Uh, you know, there, there, you can know him as Savior, and, you know, that's, that's one level of knowing him. But, uh, you know, when you really surrender your life, and make him Lord, man, it's a whole different ball of wax. And when I made that commitment and really learned and really began to seek him and, and know what it was to humble myself under his mighty hand that he might exalt me in due season, mm -hmm. I found out just how faithful he was and how much he really does resist the proud but give grace to the humble. Amen. 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 He I is mean, so faithful. Yeah, you can't so say faithful. enough about the importance of humility in the Christian walk um, because, you know, we can't, you know, a lot of us, I for many years called him Lord, 
but I mm -hmm. was not doing the things that he said, Luke mm -hmm. 6, 46. And, you know, it's very important that, uh, that we walk in obedience to what he says. You know, I mean, his, he, he has grace for us. He has mercy for us. He, he has love for us. And, you know, yeah, it's true. We can't do anything to earn his love. We mm -hmm. can't do anything to earn forgiveness. No. Jesus did that on the cross. That's all true. But, you know, we, we really don't, we, we can't be using his grace as a, a license for the flesh and no. just allow our flesh to continue to dominate. He wants to dominate. He wants to have the preeminence in all things. And we, as his people, need to make sure that we are working every day to give him that. Amen. And to continue to surrender uh, mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and be about our father's business. You know, Don had said earlier, um, you know, we, we need to, uh, you know, we come here not to not so that you can hear us pray right. or so that we can you know put on some big prayer show for you mm -hmm. no we come in here with a hard attitude yes. saying lord fill us and use us Mm -hmm. uh, to pray your prayers mm -hmm. because, you know, we know that, that you folks out, you good people out there in the listening audience, you don't need to hear mm -hmm. from, from George. You don't need to hear from Donette. You need to hear from Jesus. And we need to be yielded vessels for his use. Amen. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's what we're, we're encouraging. We're trying, we're striving for that. We're enc encouraging all of you out there uh, in TV land mm -hmm. to be doing that. Amen. Humble yourself, spend time in the word, spend time in prayer, because that's mm -hmm. where the relationship is built. And it's out of that relationship that the rest of your walk and, and everything that you are called to do, everything you're called to receive, everything mm -hmm. you're called to accomplish is going to flow from that place of relationship with the living God. Amen, Donna? Yeah. So through this experience, which we had health issues, <laughs> but because you drew close to the Lord, you got in the Word, and I know this Word became alive to you then. It yep. changed. Yep. And also, because of your uh, prayer life, I know it grew too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been in that pit before, and I'll tell you, boy, I talked to God a whole lot, mm -hmm. a whole lot. Yeah. But His Word says in Jeremiah, this is one of my scriptures I use a lot talking about prayer, Jeremiah 33, 3. It says, Call unto me, and this is the Lord speaking. Call unto me, and I will answer thee. I will. And you know, God, when he makes a promise or says, I will or I shall, if you read this Bible, he stands by it. <laughs> he That's is right. true to it. And he said, and then I will show thee great and mighty things, which thou knowest no, not. not. And I think you're a witness that God has showed you great and mighty things. Yeah. Yeah, he's gave you the illumination <laughs> of the word and you've seen it actually in your life grow yep. and that's why like George said we don't come on here just to say we have another show uh, we come on because we do believe in prayer and we know there's a lot of hurting people out there walking around in darkness with physical ailments they need to uh, grow spiritually they have uh, financial problems they have relationship problems they have addictions, and they need help. And George and I both are sharing what we've experienced. We yeah. know that Jesus is <laughs> all those things that we need. He will provide. Amen. And as we draw closer to him, which is what George made the decision to do, I made the decision to do when I was in my pit. I was going to hang on to Jesus. Because I knew he was the only sure thing in my life. Now, I had a lot of people that loved me. My parents loved me. I had a wonderful, wonderful life, childhood. Felt very safe and loved and protected. But you know, they could only do so much. But God has the answer. And when you draw to him and get that relationship, that personal relationship with Jesus, and you can talk to him about your problems... And then when you can join with other believers and pray, wow, it says what? One puts 10,000? Yeah, one puts 1,000 to flight, two, put two, two puts 10,000 to flight. Think about that. And, you know, besides George and I here praying for you, we have the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in Revelation 8 that he prays for us when we know not how to pray. And then we have Jesus sitting at the right hand of God, and he's the high priest. 
the high priest, because he went in and he made that blood sacrifice for us. He was that lamb without blemish, without spot. He was without sin. And he can now enter into the throne room of God, which he has done, seated at his right hand. And it says he's still interceding, mm -hmm. praying for us. Now think about right. that. How could you get any better <laughs> someone on your side than to have Jesus, the Holy Spirit, on your side, praying with you? Prayer, I'll tell you, mm -hmm. I, 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 I treasure these hours that we have, Pray 16. We've had some three-hour ones. And I said, we've been in the throne room of God for one hour. We've been in the throne room of God for three hours with God. Because he cares. He really cares about everything in our life. Well, today we have a worship song from the United Pentecostal Church in Power Mallory, Missouri, their praise team. They were here for Revive America this month. And they sang anointed, anointed, blessed worship music. And we want to share some of that now. So just enter in. Just close your eyes. Just close your eyes and see yourself before the throne of God. And just let him minister to you through this song. And then we'll be back and we will pray for your prayer request. So get on the phone, call the numbers on the screen, call in that praise report, or you can email praise16 at wtgr.org because we want to stand in faith on God's word and believe for you to receive that answer today. Be blessed by the music.
we've come to magnify you, God. Hallelujah, we praise you, Jesus. We praise you, God. There we go. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. Amen. I love to hear those young people. They love the Lord and have an anointing. And thank you so much, so much. I guess I was looking at the wrong camera, wasn't I? <laughs> Amen. I need to look for that red light. Well, I hope you called in. If not, pick up that phone. Call in your prayer request because we want to pray for you today. We have some praise reports today. I'm excited about that. And this one uh, um, kind of uh, close to, this is my grandson, Gabriel. He's six years old, and, and we were praying for him because he had fell. And uh, he broke these two bones right here in his arm, and he had some surgery. And we want to praise God. The surgery went very well. And uh, no pins. They didn't have to put any pins in his arm. We're so thankful for that. And we do want to thank you for your prayers. It does make a difference. I don't know how many times people will say, boy, your prayers really made a difference. I could feel your prayers with me. And uh, we are going to continue to pray for that total healing. So God, today we do praise you for being with Gabriel yes, during this surgery, for guiding the doctor's hands for the good report. We're thankful we didn't have to put any pins in his arm and that it's now in a cast and it's healing. And we pray for that continued healing, God. I know those casts, sometimes it wants to itch underneath. And uh, he has said that once in a while he has a little bit of pain there. But God, we know you're the healer. And we're, we, we are expecting that complete healing to be done in that arm, that he will have no side effects. He'll be able to use his arm during the rest of his life and uh, that he would go forth and be a light for you, Jesus, is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Hallelujah. And uh, I have a uh, praise report here, a, a thank you note from uh, a view, from a WTJR viewer, a viewer of Praise 16, called in to say thank you to WTJR for your ministry work and uh, your powerful, powerful prayers. And, uh, and uh, yeah, you know, we, um, you know we're, we're glad to be here. Uh, happy to be part of the WTJR family, happy to bring this program to you week after week and uh, teach and encourage and exhort you to develop your prayer life because prayers are powerful. We've said yes, it time and time and time again. And, uh, you know, I don't think church that we really have a clue as to just how powerful our prayers are. But the Bible <laughs> says that our, that our uh, prayers are a weapon of warfare that are mighty in God for the pulling down of strongholds and, and for waging an effective war to see the powers of hell broken off of the lives of his people. That's exactly what we do here every week, week in and week out. And, uh, you know, you don't have to wait for us. Mm -hmm. You know, you can, uh, you can offer up your own prayers. Yeah. Um, you know, you can, you can pray under the influence and the guidance of the Holy Spirit, just like we do. Uh, all you have to do is just say, Lord, here I am. Amen. Here I am. Fill me with your spirit. Give me the mind of Christ and, and, uh, and pray according to how you're led. Because, you know, Jesus said that if we pray anything yes. according to the will of the Father, mm -hmm. it will be done for us. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that slowly Amen. again. If we pray according to the will of God, it will be done Amen. for us. Amen. 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 Prayers are a powerful thing. They're a powerful, powerful weapon to see the kingdom of God come and his will be done in your life. Because if his will mm -hmm. ain't being done in your life, somebody else's will is. Mm. And generally, mm -hmm. that ain't a good thing. That's right. So, <laughs> you know, we need, to, we need to take our place on the wall and pray for ourselves, for yes. our family, for our friends, for our neighbors, for our, for our state, for our nation, yes. for our world. Yes. Pray as you're led by the Spirit yes. and, uh, and, and release that, that powerful weapon into the spirit realm and, uh, and get some good accomplished for the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 You know, I got my cell phone with me and uh, I've got it on Facebook, WTJR TV. If you go to that Facebook page, you can also see this program, Pray 16 on there live. And if you're watching on Facebook, please share that because you're going to be sharing with friends maybe that have never even watched this program. And it may be someone that has a need today that we can pray for. 
Carol is on Facebook. And we had a request here, uh, George, from Stella. She asked us to pray for her mother, Sheila. And please and thank you. So God, we want to lift up uh, Sheila. God, uh, you know what's going on in her life. We call upon you because you are the great I am. And you said that whatever we need, that we could come to you, just like George said. And God, we ask in Jesus' name, you would reach down and whatever Sheila needs, whether it's physical, financial, whatever the provision is, that you would fulfill that today and show her great and mighty things. And she will know that God, that you did that, that you answered that prayer and you will get the glory from it. And we ask in Jesus' name, amen and yes, amen. Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. And yeah, also yeah. real quick, I did call Gary real quick, Wallace, or we got on the air to check in with him to see how he is doing. He had called me yesterday and he fell on the ice and he said, I'm not as young as I used to be. And I said, I understand that. <laughs> that ice doesn't give very much, does it, George? No, no, no. And he said his body was hurting a little bit and aching. So, but anyway, he uh, said he was getting around this morning. He was using one crutch, but he felt like he just pulled a tendon or a ligament and he was doing uh, lots better. So God, we just ask your healing touch upon Gary's body, uh, whatever that is, a ligament, tendon, or whatever in his leg that's causing him to have to use that crutch, that you would touch and heal that now. We know he has some meetings this weekend, and uh, he would like, he's planning on being there, and we would just like <clears throat> that healing to be complete, that he could fulfill the work he needs to be doing this weekend for your kingdom. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Yes, and Lord. Amen. We speak life and amen. health and recovery. Yes. Full healing, full restoration yes. of all that the enemy has tried to yes. take away. Lord, we just speak it over, over the over that joint, over the ankle, over that yes. leg, Lord God. Father, that you would bring about a full, miraculous healing and restoration and recovery, Father God, that he would be able, Lord, to walk the walk, Lord God. Mm -hmm. as yes. well as talk the talk and uh, and he would be able to uh, participate in uh, in the meetings this weekend. Yes, Lord. Uh, Lord at River of Life, Father God, uh, in Jesus' name, Lord, we speak healing and life and health mm -hmm. over his body in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. And we might just real quick, these meetings are um, Friday night. Tonight it's at 7. 7. Mm -hmm. Saturday evening at 6 p.m. and Sunday morning if you don't have a church that you attend, it's at 10 a.m., I believe. 10 a.m. But they have a um, world-known evangelist. He is from Indonesia. He's written a book, and it's Like a Mighty Wind, I believe is the name of the book. It was a bestseller. It talks about the movement of the Holy Spirit over in Asia, starting back, I believe, in 1965. But if you are available tonight, Friday night or Saturday evening, uh, go out and, and uh, be blessed at these services. Hear his testimonies. He has seen miraculous healings. And he'll be sharing all that with the people. So just wanted to tell you about that. Okay. Amen. Yeah, you know, very important that, uh, that we align ourselves to hear, uh, yes. hear these testimonies. Because, you know, I mean, we hear, we hear so much of the negative mm -hmm. uh, from, you know, from the world that we live in. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we, we, we don't live in a world that is... Uh, you know, really conducive to faith. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's a fallen world. It's, it's a world ruled by darkness. Yes. And, uh, you know, it does everything that it can. You know, the, the God of this world and the spirits of this age do mm -hmm. everything that they can to discourage the people of faith. Amen. To, you know, to, to keep us down, keep us powerless. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you have an opportunity to hear the testimony of somebody who's been there and done that and seen yes. the power of God poured out in mm -hmm. ways that we don't get to see all the time here, you know, yes. in, in, uh, in America, um, you know, boy, you know, I would encourage you to take advantage of that, um, you know, because we need our faith built up. Yes, and that's why do. I come to you week after week and encourage you to, you know, call in with your praise reports. We need to hear these things. We need to hear what great and, what great and mighty things the Lord God is doing yes. to build up our own faith, to build up your faith, to build up the faith of our brothers and sisters to yes. believe for the greater works. Amen. You know, it, it really doesn't do much good to come into the prayer closet full of doubt, fear, and unbelief. No. You know, what I call the unholy trinity, mm -hmm. uh, doubt, fear, and unbelief there. You, you know, you, we need to come in 
yes. but with an attitude of expectation. Yes. We need to come in in faith expecting God mm -hmm. to move, expecting tumors to fall off, expecting right. blind eyes to open and deaf ears to be unstopped and, and tongues to be loosed and for the dead to rise again. Amen. Uh, you know, God, it's impossible to please God. Without yeah. faith, it's impossible to please That's God. Right. Yeah. Imagine what would happen if mm. the church yeah. were to shed the doubt, fear, and yeah. unbelief that we have educated ourselves into mm -hmm. and, and actually came and, and tried to become the house of prayer mm -hmm. for all nations, believing mm -hmm. that God would do what we ask Him to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, I would ask this question. When you pray, <coughs> do you believe God, first of all, hears your prayer? And second of all, do you believe He's going to answer that prayer? I mean, do that's you believe? Right. I mean, that, that's key uh, to believe. I believe in prayer. I've, I believe in prayer. I, I would have to admit it's not always being answered the way I thought it should be answered. But God always has the best answer. And Amen. I've learned that to trust God, that, that, that no matter what, I trust you, God, because you do have the best answer. But God does want the best for us. Mm -hmm. He really, really does. So if you read his word, you know that he wants us to be healed. He wants us to have our needs supplied. He wants us to be blessed. He wants us to be holy more than he wants us to be happy. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people probably won't like that. But it tells you there. He wants us to be holy. Mm -hmm. He wants us to be his child and serve yeah. him. So it's important that we believe. That's right. Amen. Okay. We have uh, one last praise, re uh, oh. praise report here yes. uh, for Alan from Jacksonville. Who, yes. Uh, he uh, had, a, uh, had a normal EKG, which cleared him for, uh, for a medical procedure uh, that'll tell him whether or not he's beaten melanoma or whether he's got a little more mm -hmm. fighting to do. Mm -hmm. um, now this was a, a week ago, and I know he's had that procedure. I don't know what the outcome mm -hmm. was, or, uh, or or what the final word is on that at this point in time. I do know that God's word over Alan yes. is life. Amen. God's word yes. over Alan is healing. Yes. God's word over Alan is yes. victory. Lord, I feel the Woo! Holy Ghost up in here. We're gonna have some church. God's yes. word over Alan is life and health and victory. And we speak that by faith in the name of Jesus Thank Christ. You, we praise you, Lord, for what you have yes. done in his body, in his mind, yes, Lord. in his spirit, Lord, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. We thank you, Lord, for the you, you have died to give him all that he needs. Yes. You, have, you died to give him new life in you, Lord. And we pray, yes, Lord. Father, Lord, that he takes full advantage of that, that he knows you as Lord. He knows you as Savior. And he answers the call yes. of God on his life to be about the yes. good works that you yes, prepared yes. in advance that he might walk in them in Jesus mighty name hallelujah Woo! Alan go get them man yes, go amen. get them yes. hallelujah. hallelujah glory to God Woo! I felt that too ha! <laughs> I felt that too thank you Lord God glory. is a mighty miracle working God Amen. you know what yesterday I was watching someone shared on Facebook it was R.W. Shambach uh, at a service, and he was given the testimony of A.A. A. Allen, who at a meeting prayed for this little boy that was healed of 26 from the point that he had no arms and arms grew. <laughs> he had club feet, I believe it was. He had no eyes, he had the sockets, but no eyeballs. He had never seen, he never spoke, he, he was deaf. I mean, he was healed of it all. People there at that Hallelujah. service seen every bit of it. R.W. said, I seen them arms come out. Hmm. I'm telling you, God is a miracle working God. We've got to start walking in faith. Mm -hmm. Come on. Unbelief and doubt doesn't bring the answer. That's right. It's faith. It's faith. It's faith. We're going to stand in faith today for John. He's been diagnosed with a form of dementia. And his wife, Trina, and his son, Mark, trying to take care of him. But they're really getting wore down. And, you know, I want to pray for caregivers, too. Because that is hard. Yes. It's really hard when your loved one is in, so sick. And, and you're there day in and day out with them, trying to do the very best you can to help them. 
I want to lift them up today. But they're, um, they're saying that he may have to go to a nursing home. And I know that's hard on families. But sometimes, I guess, if people get to the point that you can't physically take care of them, they need to be somewhere where those people are trained. But God, we lift John up and we're praying for a turnaround miracle. Yes, Lord. A turnaround miracle. That he would have a sound mind as you speak about God. You have given us a sound mind. And I pray for that memory to return, for that mind to be at peace and to be restored. That memory restored, God, that the struggle in his body, God, would be healed. Yes, Lord, that struggle would be gone. It would be healed. Pray for rest for his wife and for his son, God. May they have a peace. May they see you working in John's life. And I pray that through this, if they do not know you as Lord and Savior, that God, they will come to know you, that they will draw close to you, and they will thank you because they see what you're doing in John's life. Oh, God, we wait for that praise report. And we will let people know when this miracle happens in John's life and in his mind, whoo, we're going to celebrate with them. We ask amen. all this in Jesus' precious name. Yes. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. I have a, uh, a request here for, uh, for Henry, uh, who's a, a, a preemie, a newborn, uh, and his, his mama Bailey. Um, uh, Henry had, uh, well... I'm assuming uh, Henry has pneumonia. Yes, <laughs> I'm not yes. sure if it's if it's mama or. Uh... I wrote that out. Okay. So yes, it's right, the so baby. Henry Henry has Henry has pneumonia. Well, uh, Lord, we lift up Bailey and and Henry to you, Lord God. We pray, Father, for your healing touch, Lord, upon Henry's little body. God, that you, that you would uh, cause him, Lord God, to flourish and to grow. We come against the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ and can cast it out of his little body in the name of Jesus. We come against this, this pneumonia and command it to go. We speak death over the pneumonia infection and, and life to Henry's body in Jesus' name. We command it to go. Lord, we thank you that you have given us the name that is above every name. Yes, Lord. And that name, the, the only name given among men by which we must be saved, mm -hmm. and the name given to which every knee in heaven and in earth and under yes. the earth yes. shall bow, the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we speak that name over Henry's body, and in his name yes, we Lord. command health and life yes, for Lord. Henry, an end to this infection, yes, and, and for him to begin to grow and to flourish and to, to, uh, to come into knowledge of, saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, and that he would be about the Father's business, and he would spend his life answering the yes, call Lord. of God on his life in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I want to lift up Penny. Uh, we're going to pray for her little finger on her right hand. She uh, injured it a few weeks ago or months ago. And it's still painful at times and swells up. So, God, we're believing for that total healing in that finger, God, that she can go about her daily task, God, and won't have that swelling and that pain. We know, God, your word says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Forget not all your benefits. Who healeth who forgiveth our sins and healeth our sickness, disease. We thank you, God, for that healing touch on Penny today. And I lift up Bob and Janet to regain, to regain use of their hands. Uh, Janet also needs strength in her body after heart pump. So, God, we lift up Bob and Janet. God, you know the need with what's going on in the strength in their hands. And we know, God, that we use our hands every day for a lot of things. So I pray that healing touch upon those hands, that they can return to the work that they need to be doing. And God, we also lift up Janet, um, strengthen her body. Yes, Lord. She would strengthen her body. We'd give her a good rest at night. And that healing touch would flow through her body, that she would be healed. It's my prayer. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. 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 Uh, I have one, have an anonymous prayer request here uh, to to get rid of fear, mm. and uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's one of these one of these that uh, blanket prayer requests that could could apply to just about mm -hmm. everybody, uh, mm -hmm. and you know, uh, we 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 like playing, praying for those because uh, you know we can. Uh, we can take care, take care of a lot of a lot of a lot of people, a lot of a lot of issues with with, uh, with one shot there. Uh, so uh, thank you uh, to the anonymous person who called this in, and Father God, Lord, you know who this person is. I don't know, I don't yes, need Lord. to know this person after the flesh, but you know them after the Spirit, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord, that you have not given this person a spirit of fear. You've not given any of us a spirit of fear, but a power. That is authority, love, and a sound Amen. mind. Amen. Uh, Lord, we thank you for the spirit that you have given us. And we thank you, Lord, that perfect love casts yes, out Lord. fear, Lord, and, uh, and that you are able to keep him in perfect peace. Yes, Lord. Who is, whose mind is stayed upon you, Lord God. Uh, Father God, so we pray for this person, Lord God, and all people out there, Lord, who are struggling with fear and anxiety. Uh, Lord, we know that the, that the perilous times that we live in would inspire fear. If that's all we were to look at is yes, the Lord. events going on in our own natural world, Lord. But thank, thank you, Lord. We don't have, uh, we have other things we can look at. We can look at your word. We can look at, at our own history. Yes, we can yes, look yes. to the kingdom of heaven. We can look to the throne room of God. And we can look to the cross of Jesus Christ and know that there is hope in him. Amen. There is deliverance in him. There is salvation in him. Lord, and we don't have to be conquered by fear. We don't have to be ruled by anxiety. Uh, you know, so many are, are, are taken with the, with the spirit of fear in these days. You know, fear of, of nuclear war, fear of pestilence, fear of coronavirus, fear of this, fear of that, uh, fear of economic collapse, whatever. Uh, you know, there's so much, and, and the media feeds on it, right? You know, our, our, our news media, our, our propaganda outlets, our false prophets just love to feed on that, feed that yes, spirit Lord. of fear. And, uh, you know, we as the people of God can stand against that because Amen. we have a spirit on the inside of us that is greater Amen. than the spirit that is in the world. This spirit of fear that's trying to keep people locked up and keep them in bondage. Amen. So we call upon the spirit of the living God yes, Lord. to drive out. The spirit yes. of fear in the name yes. of Jesus Christ and give us the tools and the strategies uh, to yes. conquer that and take that on and to conquer it in the spirit realm where it needs to be conquered so that we can live lives free of mm -hmm. demonic influence and, yes, and uh, able, fully able to serve the Lord God and answer his call on our life. Amen. 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 Make it so, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, we just had uh, someone call in. A prayer request, Donna has cancer in her colon, having surgery next week. Well, I had just opened up my Bible to Isaiah 53, and I'm going to read verses 4 and 5 as, as uh, George was talking there, you know, about we pray in the name of Jesus. That's the name we pray in. The Bible instructs that our prayers are to be in the name of Jesus. And so I'm going to read this, Isaiah 53, 4 and 5. Surely he hath bore our griefs. He carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. And we know that his body was wounded. He was beaten it was torn. They put a, a crown of thorns on his head, pushed it into his head. So he had wounds there. Uh, he suffered terribly physically. But by his stripes, by the finished work of Calvary, we are healed. So Donna, today, in the name of Jesus, I encourage you to put your faith in God. Put your eyes up on Jesus. And we ask you, God, in the name of Jesus, that you would touch this body, that this cancer, this cancer in her colon would dry up, just dry up, just dry up, shrivel away. Amen. And be gone. And be gone. And I know she's scheduled for surgery next week, God. I'm believing when she goes in, they're going to ask her why she's there. 
<laughs> because that cancer will be gone, never to return to her body. That's right. Just as Jesus said to the woman with the issue of blood, he said, your faith has made you, well. has made you whole. Amen. Well, I pray today, Donna, your faith will make you whole. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I've seen that drying up. As I was talking about it. I've seen it. It was like a prune just, just shrinking right up. Amen. Amen. You know, you know, Victory Je in Jesus. You know, Jesus cursed the, uh, the fig tree oh, and it yeah. dried up from the roots up. You know, yeah. it, the moment he spoke the word, it was accomplished. Yeah. But the visible results weren't seen until sometime later. Uh -huh. The next day, uh -huh. it says the disciples passed by and one of them, I think it was Peter, I'm not sure which one, I'm not, I, I don't recall which one, said, Lord, look, the, the fig tree you cursed is withered uh -huh. away. Like he was shocked. You know? Yeah. And, you know, we can nod our head and act spiritual. Yeah, yeah. okay, sure. We, we wouldn't have been shocked yeah, by no, that. No, we would have oh, been yes, shocked. Yes, we would have. Yes, yes we would have. Yeah. We would have been just as shocked as him. Uh, yeah. But, you know, we, I, I hope we can get to the place where we're not. Yes. That I would hope be we great. can get to the place where where we acting under the unction of the Holy Spirit and in, and in obedience to what he has said mm -hmm. would be able to, you know, because he said we uh -huh. would. He said we would lay hands on the sick and see them recover. He said that we, oh, I feel a preach coming yes. on. He said <laughs> that we would speak to this mountain and see be, <clears throat> say be removed and cast into the sea. He said <clears throat> that we would speak with other tongues. He said yeah. we would cast out demons. Yeah. He said, like I said earlier, yeah, we would lay it. hands on the sick and see them recover. Now, is Jesus a liar? Because if he's a liar, that means he ain't the Savior. Mm -hmm. But if he is the Savior and mm -hmm. he is the Holy Lamb of God who doesn't mm -hmm. know sin, then that means he did not lie. Right. He did not lie. And we actually can do all those things that he said we would do. Yep. He said his church, the gates of hell, would not prevail against it. Right. Amen. So we need to figure out, you know, what are we doing wrong yep. uh, that, that we're not walking in this? And fix mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. God, fix us. Because uh, we're not the church yep. that you wanted us to be. <coughs> but we can be. <coughs> if we'll surrender Amen. and uh, and be about the Father's business. Amen. <coughs> Amen. <coughs> Pardon Amen. me. Yeah. Sorry. Hallelujah. Um, got a prayer request here for uh, for Anna, <coughs> who uh, suffered a severe cut on her hand and will need surgery to uh, repair the damaged tendons. God, we lift Anna yes, up to Lord. you now. And Father God, we pray your uh, you'd speed healing to that cut and that you would repair those tendons in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Sorry, folks. Uh, God, we, ha we ask for wisdom and, uh, and knowledge be given to, uh, to the surgeon, to the doctors, to her medical team, yes. Father God. Lord, that you would guide his hands, Father yes, God. Lord. And that, um, Lord, you would do great and miraculous, wonderful things, Lord God, and you would empower him. Lord, the surgeon or, or, or her, I don't know, it might, yes, be a, might be a girl surgeon, I don't know. Uh, Lord, but whoever the surgeon is, Lord God, yes, whoever is in charge of her medical care, Father, uh, Lord, we pray, Lord, for wisdom and skill and knowledge be given and multiplied and magnified yes, Lord. onto that person uh, who's, who's performing the surgery, and Lord, uh, that the results will be beyond what they expect beyond yes, what they hope for, yes, Lord, Lord, and that your glory will be seen in Jesus' mighty name. And we yes, have, Lord. Have, uh, have one here, uh, a list of folk who are, excuse me, uh, who are uh, dealing, with, uh, dealing with the COVID. Uh, we, li we lift up Ariel and, excuse me, and uh, Jim and Linda and uh, Tessa. Uh, who are, are all battling the scourge of our times, the coronavirus, uh, we come against this in the name of Jesus. We know that this virus is an attack of hell. It's an agent of hell sent to steal, kill, and destroy, and it has no place in the lives and in the bodies of your people. For our bodies, as it is written, our bodies 
are the temple of the Holy Spirit, and no agent of hell has any business being in us in any way, shape, or form. And we come against the coronavirus and, uh, and, the, and the COVID, the, the disease that, that comes from it. We come against it in the, in the name, in, in the lives of these believers, we come against it in the name of Jesus. We speak death to this invader, life to your people. In Jesus' name. Man, man, I think that cough is catching here. Well, we're going to take a break, and uh, this is probably one of the most important prayers you'd ever say is the salvation prayer. And I pray if you've never asked Jesus in your heart that you'll do so today. Has anyone ever told you <coughs> that Jesus loves you and he has a wonderful plan for your life? I have a real quick, but another very important question to ask you. If you were to die this very second, beyond a shadow of a doubt, do you know that you would go to heaven? Now you answer that question to yourself. But then let me quickly share with you what the Holy Bible reads. It reads, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Bible also reads, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And you're a whosoever, right? And so am I. Now I'm going to say a quick prayer for you. Lord, bless my brothers and sisters and their family with long and healthy lives. Jesus, make yourself real to them right now and do a very quick work in their heart. If they have not received you, Jesus, as their Lord and Savior, I pray that they'll do it right now. Now, folks, if you would like to receive the gift that God has for you today, say this with me, with your heart and your lips out loud. Dear Lord Jesus, come on, say that with me. Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me and cleanse me. Set me free. Jesus, thank you that you died for me. I believe that you are risen from the dead and that you're coming back again for me. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Give me a passion for the lost and a hunger for the things of God. Lord, give me the boldness to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now say, I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm forgiven. And I'm on my way to heaven because I have Jesus Christ in my heart. Now as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I'm telling you something right now. That if you prayed this prayer, all your sins are forgiven and you're on your way to heaven. Now you need to do something. Call WTJR at 228-1616 and let them know that you prayed this prayer. And because that is very important. And then go out and find you a Bible-believing church and get involved with it. I thank you. Goodbye. Yes, and if you did pray that prayer along with Ron there, would you please call us and let us know? And we want to celebrate with you. Yes, we want to celebrate and rejoice with you. And um, I was just checking my, my phone there, see who's on. I'm good to see people on Facebook today responding to the program. And I know many of you are blessed uh, by this program, you let me know and are thankful that someone has a prayer program on. Uh, we have had people calling in today, and we're thankful for that. I do have a couple of more requests here. Um, Eva, and I happen to know she's a senior saint, precious, precious lady. And she asks that we pray that she will pass her driver's test so I can keep driving my car. So I want to lift Eva up. I know she's a lady of faith. And uh, she asked for prayer, so she believes in prayer. And uh, so we're going to ask God today together to help her. God, I just ask as Eva goes to take her driver's test that she won't be all anxious and stressed out. She'll be at peace. 
and God that you would give her favor and she'd be able to pass that test so she can still get about and uh, do the errands and, and go to church. I know she uh, loves to go to church and those things she needs to do that you would just help her to pass this test and continue to use her to be a light, God, shining brightly for you and uh, sharing the love of God with so many people around in her church and, and the neighborhood and community. And just thank you, God, for her faith. And uh, we're just thankful that we get to pray and have the privilege of coming in your throne room with this request, knowing that you hear and you answer our prayers. We thank you in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 We got some uh, came in uh, during our Revive America mm -hmm. program uh, mm -hmm. last last week or week mm -hmm. before. Um, on week the eleventh, whenever, yeah. the, whenever mm -hmm. the eleventh was, I'm mm -hmm. not even sure what today it is. As I understand. Amen. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna we're gonna pray for those those right now. We have uh, prayer for Bev uh, who has uh, issues with her right knee. Uh, Francis David uh, over in get this. Pakistan, folks. Yeah. See, I, I tell you every week, this show goes around the world by the power of the internet and, and your <coughs> prayers. Amen. Uh, you know, can you can have people from Pakistan praying for you? You can be praying That's for people right. in Pakistan. No. Uh, God is not limited by That's geography. Right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Uh, Brenda called in, uh, called in wanting prayer for her family mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, dealing with COVID. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jeff uh, is praying for healing for. Uh, uh, from cellulitis. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You know, uh, you know, God never promised us a life free from struggles and uh, and and trials mm -hmm. and tribulations. In fact, quite the opposite. Jesus told us point blank: in the world you will have trouble, mm -hmm. but take heart, be of good mm -hmm. cheer. Yes. I, that is He has overcome the world. Amen. 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 So, you know, even though Donette and I are, are you know, <laughs> struggling a little bit with, uh, with, with some, uh, some breathing issues today, uh, we know that these battles are temporary. Yes. We know yes. that God always leads us in triumph Amen. Uh, in, in Christ Jesus. Amen. And, Amen. Uh, you know, yeah. we're going to walk with him and we will see the victory. Amen. Um, you know, uh, the life of faith doesn't isn't a life of ease and comfort, and yes. uh, and it doesn't mean that nothing bad will ever happen to you. It doesn't That's mean right. that uh, that COVID won't ever strike. It doesn't mean yes. that calamity won't befall your house. It will. But the life of faith gives you the tools Amen. to persevere and to press on yes. and and to to go yes. through yes. that stuff to yes. see the final victory of God in your life. Yes. And Donette and I, no matter how much we might be <laughs> coughing today, we are going to see the Amen. victory over, Amen. over these invaders. Amen. Amen. Lord, Amen. we just pray for these folk here. Yes, Lord. God, and we release yes. the healing virtue of Jesus Christ into their bodies, into their lives. In yes, the name Lord. of Jesus Christ, the, the risen Savior, the name given uh, yes. to, to which every knee will bow yes, in heaven Lord. and in earth and in under the earth. Yes, Lord. We command these things to go. Yes, yes, yes. We command healing over their bodies, that the invading spirits, the invading elements yes, Lord. would be driven back, driven out. Yes, Lord. And that repairs would be made, healing would be accomplished, and that these people who are under the attack of the enemy. Yes, yes, yes would come to know yes, the saving yes, grace yes, yes. of Jesus Christ, would come to know the deliverance that comes from the hand, of, the hand of God in heaven and will proclaim the goodness of God here in the land of the living while it is called today. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Hallelujah. And you know, Hallelujah. When, uh, when that happens, mm. <coughs> yeah, when that happens, call up the station. Yep. And uh, like I said earlier, let's get a praise report going. Mm -hmm. uh, let the world know. Tell them what mm -hmm. great and mighty things the Lord God has done. Tell them how you got sick with the coronavirus, but God led you through it. Amen. How God broke the fever. How, yes. how God canceled the coughing. Yes. How God healed your body. Because that's what he did to me. Mm -hmm. That's what he's done to Donette. Yep. Many, 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 many times. Agents of hell have come against us. You know, Donette alluded to it, uh, uh, what must have been, now, eight, nine years ago, nine years ago, uh, uh, this month, uh, the enemy came at me with a heart attack mm -hmm. and, uh, and, yep. and threw, uh, you know, threw me under, under the bus. 
uh, and with a, well, a quadruple bypass surgery. But you know what? What the enemy meant for my destruction right. turned <laughs> what the enemy meant for my destruction <coughs> turned out for my good. Because I'm gonna tell you something, during that two week hospital stay, God used that to deliver me from the from a yeah. smoking addiction that had vexed oh, me you, for my entire Christian walk. Yes, Lord. So what the enemy meant yeah. for evil, God turned for good. Yes, hallelujah. And he can do the same thing for you. I'm not special. God is. Hallelujah. <laughs> and what he did for me, he'll do yes. for you. Yes, Lord. So, you know, so don't don't fail to call, you know, don't think just because you got some some kind of calamity mm -hmm. come into your life. Don't, don't think just because you got hit with corona or you got hit with cancer, you got the big C yeah. uh, diagnosis from your doctor. Don't think it's over. No. It's not over. No. It's not over until not God over. says it's over. And you have a king on the throne. Yes. You have a father in heaven to whom you can call and a savior who died to reconcile you to him. So yes. you don't have to sit there and go through uh, some kind of weird religious ritual. You don't have to clean no. yourself up. Mm -hmm. Jesus did that. The blood of the lamb removes right. your sin from you and makes right. you, declares you righteous in the sight of God. Don had said it earlier. We can come anytime we want into the very Woo! throne room of God. Yes. Why? Because we're his children. We yes, are his yes, children yes. now. We, we, when you receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, when you, when you plead the blood over your life, when you get born again and filled with his spirit, you are a child of God. John 1 says that to as many as received him, to them he gave the right to be called children of God. So Amen. if you want to know who you are, if you're a born again, spirit filled, Bible believing uh, follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are a child of God. Woo, Don't let anybody tell you any different. And let me tell you something. Let me, the opposite of that is also true. If you have rejected Christ, if you have despised the gift of salvation, yes, Lord. if you have despised the Lamb of God, you are not a child of God. Mm -hmm. And you need to fix that. You need to, re mm -hmm. you need to do what he said in Mark 1.15, repent and believe in the yes. gospel. That's right. Hallelujah. I mean, it's, it's real, folks. It's yes. not, it's not no. a game. It's no. not, uh, you know, right. it's not just, well, that's, that's your religion and that's you know, your, your belief system. No, this is God's plan for the salvation of humanity. Yes, Lord. His plan to save humanity was to send his son in the likeness of sinful flesh, condemn sin yes. in the flesh, right. that all flesh might be saved through him who believe. That's right. Jesus right. himself said in John 3 that uh, you know, they who do not believe are condemned already because right. they have not believed on the name of the only begotten Son of God. Amen. Amen. I mean, it, it matters what you believe, folks. It matters who you follow. It matters who you, uh, who you give your life to. And uh, I encourage you, man, call out to Jesus. Cry out to the <laughs> Lord. Um, oh my, we are out of time. Yeah, I, I went and went and preached, <laughs> the, right. preached the time away. You, you didn't get to have your spot today, so you just <laughs> had two or three times. That's all right. Thank you for joining us today. And God bless you. And I want to encourage you. And it says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turn from your wicked ways, then God said, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Walk Amen. in that. Believe it, and we'll see you next week. God bless. Amen.